act? Uh, let me think. Hmm, I remember that she was talking on her phone. I clearly remember that she left the restaurant in a hurry soon after that. The man who was with her left in a bad mood afterwards. No, I don't think that he went after Miss Abby. No. He left the restaurant in an hour after Miss Abby did. I know that because I served a carafe of wine to the table. The gentleman drank it all himself before he left. I remember being disappointed because they ordered a very fine wine. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, we've received a recording. More questioning? Who is it this time? Carolyn Bowen, Sean's wife. Once they confronted her about the lighter, she started talking. I see. I'll check it out. So what if my fingerprints were on the lighter? That's got nothing to do with... Why am I a suspect? No, I'm telling you it wasn't like that. That skank! I didn't report it because I knew I'd get dragged into this mess. <sighs> yes, that's right. I happened to be out that day and saw them dining together. They looked like they were having the time of their lives, and I lost it. I was going to charge in there and slap both of them. And then the skank left the restaurant still on her phone. I followed that slut, but just because I was curious. I didn't want her to get away. Of course I was angry. She went into a warehouse not far from there. I couldn't see too well from where I was hiding. But she didn't come out for a while, so I peeked into the warehouse. And there, there was this hairy beast. It, it was on top of her. It was doing something to her hand with its terrible claws. I... I knew she'd been killed, but I, I had nothing to do with it. I mean, it serves her right. Did she think she could just steal any man she wanted? That's probably when I dropped the lighter. Of course, I didn't report it. I would have been the very first suspect. I don't believe it. This is one weird testimony. Our murder investigation suddenly turned into a monster hunt. We've had a sketch artist create a picture from her account, but... Are there any animals that size around here? Don't be ridiculous. It's someone wearing a mask and some kind of costume. I thought as much. Could the killer be insane? Who can say? There's no way to know anything yet. These two pieces of information can fill in Abigail's timeline that night until her death. When was she last seen before she died? How could I do that? That's right. She was seen at a restaurant that she was a frequent customer at. The one with her at the time was... Correct. She was witnessed there with her boss. Afterwards, she left the restaurant alone. The reason she left was... Yes, a phone call caused her to leave the restaurant immediately. But where did this call come from? Indeed, the payphone near the murder scene. It's most likely that the killer called her from the public phone then waited for the victim to arrive and ambushed her. That would be what happened on Abigail's last night in this world.
From the sketch, the murderer was wearing a mask. Now I know what that white shard from the fireplace was. It must have been from the mask that the murderer was wearing while committing the crimes. But why would the murderer throw the mask into the fireplace? Whatever the reason, it helps to sort everything out. Okay, I need to sort out the information I have on hand. My main concern right now is the costume worn by whoever killed the two women. How did it end up in the fireplace in the Parker residence, where Alma was murdered? The most logical reason that can be considered at the moment is... Yes, putting it in the fireplace, something strikes me as odd about how Joseph, Alma's husband, was acting. That is... Yes, he confessed to Alma's murder from the very beginning. If he was willing to confess, what reason would he have to hide any evidence? Hmm. Let's assume for a moment that someone else is the... Can we follow this hypothetical person's steps? This person would have killed both Alma... The first person to be killed would have been... I can't mess around anymore. It's time to get serious. Right, but Ab... In other words, the kill... Then killed... However, the killer... We can assume that Ab... The reason for that... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Right, the killer knew... It's... Sim this is... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Yeah, Joe. So. Uh, Dr. Kimishi, we've taken a look at the. Oh, hello, Naomi. Hello. Uh, wow. Little, um. Uh, I need. Okay. Uh, yes. As it pro this. I see. Uh, the impact. We've. I see. Little guy. is the kind that plays a little tune. Hey, Naomi? Alyssa? I'm so... Broken. I mean, I know how, but this... Huh? Little... Uh... What the... Dr. Kimishima, there's something inside. We may have found you. I want to know. Oh, it's this. It's this. Huh? It's. I see. Yes, the they both there would The two of them were killed with the same weapon. This handmade stake. make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously.
Yes. Then the old but. Abigail was killed by the s the sh the if ab it there's a ah! huh I can't make any more rash decisions I need to think cautiously I can't mess around anymore it's time to get serious Even she had that's what from uh, but how uh, Dr. Kimmy Good the wine glass. Well what is it? We've detected traces of Ben Ben that's right. Hmm. No. That's all right. Okay. If we believe that all I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. I cannot make any more mistakes. Yes, her husband Joseph. That's right. The weapon that is. That's true. We have that. Is calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Indeed. When I'm just but there's no little guy. Huh? Good. Tell him. Alright. I'm going back to